Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ali Santini and in this video I will be listing 50 things to do this fall. So this list ranges from spending no money to spending some money to doing it just by yourself to doing it with friends and it can also be applied to places that don't really feel like fall or like the weather isn't cold like Miami which is where I live. So this list is kind of for everyone. So I'm gonna be looking down because my computer is right here just let you guys know but let's start with the list. So the first one is trying all the Starbucks drinks. Some people haven't tried them out, some of them are new each year and you can try them in various different ways and you can make this fun by doing like a little taste test like with a friend or like with your significant other. Try making your favorite Starbucks drink at home. This can be fun and also a way to like save money because now if you know how to do it at home you don't really need to go to Starbucks and it can be like your new everyday drink. You can have an all day bake day and do all your favorite fall treats or you can do it individually and then for the individual days you can do I'm gonna list a couple of my favorite fall things you can make caramel apples my mom absolutely loved these you can make pumpkin spice muffins I absolutely love these you can make pumpkin loaf you can make cute cookies and then decorate them either spooky or like fall theme. You can make pumpkin pancakes. I haven't tried this out, but I have to because they look so good. You can make apple sauce and you can make apple pie. These are all such cute things to do. And honestly, baking is just such a fall thing. So I feel like this is like the thing that fits most into this list. Next, you can do a book day. So you pick out a book and you spend the whole day enjoying it. So you can start your day by going to like a cute bookstore, you get all ready, you pick out a book that you've been wanting to read for like months, and then you go to a park or you read it at home like by making a cute coffee and like a little treat to eat it with. You can catch up with a friend in a cute coffee and dress up in fall themed clothing. Watch fall shows like Gilmore Girls. This is something that I just started doing. I didn't really watch Gilmore Girls before it, but now like I kind of love it. Watch scary movies or if you don't like scary movies like me, you can watch the not so scary but scary Disney Halloween episodes. I saw this trend going around. I'm definitely gonna try it out. I wanna watch something that's like fall themed, but I don't like being scared. So that kind of just like fits it perfectly. And also it's so nostalgic because we all watched those episodes when we were little. Decorate your room slash apartment slash dorm slash car and all fall stuff. So you can see here, like I have these like glass pumpkins and like the, you know, candles and over there. And it just makes your whole environment very fall, especially if you don't live somewhere that like the leaves are turning brown. Buy fall clothes to feel more in spirit. This, I feel like you can only do if you're gonna go somewhere like chilly or if you live somewhere chilly. I can't really do that in Miami, but I love to. And also like, I feel like this is very in theme, but I'm only wearing it inside my house, I can't wear it out. And also, instead of like going shopping like in places like Zara, which are a bit more pricey, you can also go thrifting to find fall clothes. Or you go thrifting and you look for like iconic pieces to be part of your like Halloween costume. So if you have like no idea in mind, you can just go thrifting find like an iconic skirt or like an iconic top and like make your costume out of that like I feel like that would be super fun and it would make it so like unique because nobody else is gonna have it like you thrifted it go to a pumpkin patch this is iconic looking for pumpkins is so fun and just like looking at all their like cool shapes and then if you go to like a really cool one it can even be like a contest of like who has the biggest pumpkin like I've heard of that and then the next thing you can do is carve pumpkins like you go to pumpkin patch you pick it out and then you go home and like you carve the pumpkin also if you're not good at carving because it is kind of like hard you can also paint the pumpkins plan your halloween costume you can have like a whole planning day like they do like for fashion shows where they like put like a whole pictures on like your table and you like you choose the best ones like you choose the colors you want to wear like the styles i feel like you can make such a fun day out of that of just like going on pinterest looking at cool costume ideas and also it doesn't have to be just one you can do one for like the school day you can do one for like at night one to go trick-or-treating one for like another party so it's so fun to just like be creative actually make your halloween costume the best halloween Halloween costumes are made from scratch or like you buy different things and you just like put them together so you can also make a whole day of like glue stuff together paint it put rhinestones in it I don't know make it like the heiress tour but like for Halloween have a fall themed whole day doing your favorite fall things like you could wake up go buy a book go read it in the park and then pass by get a pumpkin spice latte and then take your dog for a walk and the leaves are all brown like that's such a cool fun day and oh you can listen to like a fall playlist that'd be so cool and then also you can also have a fall themed sleepover with like all your friends and like you guys can watch scary movies and bake stuff together and then you can share scary stories with your friends this is super fun but also be careful because like some people hate scary stories so don't 
make it too scary sometimes. You guys can even make a game of like trying to create a scary story like right then and there with like different things you have to clue in the story like a hat, a ghost, and a pumpkin spice latte. And then you like make a cute story out of that. That would be like a not so scary spooky story. Have a fall photo shoot. Photo shoots are great. And also they don't have to be pricey. You can literally do it with like a disposable camera with just your phone. If you go somewhere cute like a pumpkin patch, or just a park with cool fall colors, you could get great pictures. Go apple picking. This is so cute. And I've never gone because they don't have that here. They only have pumpkin patches. And I've seen like all the places to go apple picking and it just looks really nice. Make a bonfire slash roast s'mores. This is so fun. And also you guys can also share stories like during the bonfire. Escape a corn maze. This is so fun and I have done this before and it can be very scary. So don't do it at night. I mean, if you want to do it very scary, do it at night. It's a really like cool bonding experience as well. Like I feel like like you could just get stuck there and you have to like figure out how to leave so it can really make you and your friends bond have a picnic at the park the park is gonna be beautiful why not spend the day by yourself reading a book with your friends with your pets pick a good fall candle and burn it from now till thanksgiving so like you can make a whole day out of it you can go to marshall's you can go to like target and like have a goal that it'll be gone by like thanksgiving that way you actually like enjoy it and then that can be like your signature scent for that season do a fall glow up Globes are so fun. You can get your nails done, hair done, skincare, and dress up in fall clothes at the end. Buy Halloween candy. This is cute, like, if you're gonna, like, do trick-or-treating, but, like, your house, like, you're just gonna leave candy there. So this could be cute. You can also buy, like, the jumbo-sized Halloween candy stuff because you know the kids love that. And you'll be, like, the best house on the block. So, like, ooh, this is kind of cute. So you take a walk, and then after the walk, you draw your favorite fall tree. And it doesn't have to be, like, draw, like, with pencils. It can also be, like, watercolor, or you can just draw, like, fall leaves. And you can actually put that in your room because that's actually kind of, like, fall decor. Make a fall playlist. When you make a fall playlist, if you listen to it, like, everywhere, like, in your room, while you're getting ready, while you're putting your clothes away, while you're getting your room organized, or, like, when you're driving, it makes you feel like you're in fall. Alongside all, like, the fall decor and the fall candles, it's very, like, sets the theme. Make a board game night with friends or family. This is just, I love doing, but you can also implement it with, like, fall stuff by, like, putting your fall playlist in the background, you know? Like, make it very folly. Write a letter for you to read next fall. You can make predictions or things that your future you should do. Make a fall themed lock screen slash computer background and you can like go on Pinterest and look for pictures there and you can edit it on Canva. So it's not that hard to do. Make a fall bucket list. So this video already has like 50 ideas but you can look at so many other ones or like go to Pinterest and it doesn't have to be like boring and simple just like on your notes app you can actually like write it down and you can draw like little cute icons like right next to what you're saying like a fall vision board i love making vision boards i do one like every season for like what's going on in my life you can do it differently so you can do it kind of like the lock screen where you do it online on canva but for me i find it more fun to like print out the pictures make a bookmark i actually found this idea as i was like scrolling through ideas of what to do in this video and that's like my favorite idea out of all of these climb a tree i love climbing trees especially if you have like little cousins like nephews or like little siblings with you you can just be like guys like today we're gonna go climb a tree if you've never done it before like today's the day go to a haunted house my favorite thing to do if you live in florida or california you can go to halloween horror nights which is like my favorite thing ever it is a bit pricey but it's so fun and also you don't have to go to halloween horror nights everywhere they have like haunted houses and they're not like a whole theme park with like 10 houses but it's like one really good one if you've never gone i feel like it's better to go to like just one than already go straight to halloween horror nights that way you know if you like it or not harry potter binge today harry potter is very halloween so when i think of harry potter i think of like being cozied up in blankets and just like binge watching all the movies and you can make like a whole day out of that go to a pie eating contest those are kind of low-key fun i feel like I want to go and also if you go to like a pie eating contest there's probably going to be other stuff and you can like take pictures there and you can make like a cute day like or like a cute date where you like go to these places and actually visit fall festivities happening in your house try something from the farmer's market it's a great way to like support your community and also try something new have a fall potluck with your friends everybody brings different things and you can even do something like oh something that i've never tried before like somebody brings the drinks and somebody brings the muffins and somebody brings the pancakes have a full pet day so if you have any pets what you can do is you can spend the whole day with them and you can do their favorite things but also to make it like fall themed you can add go to the park and it's like you know very fall and then you can either like take them to starbucks and get like a pup cup or you can like try to make fall themed treats at home that are dog edible or like dog friendly or like cat friendly or like 
any other animal friendly. Visit a museum. This is fun and also it can be fall because museums change their exhibits like every season and it can be like a date as well. Like you should go with somebody that you love talking because then you guys can like discuss and make it like even more interesting. Volunteer to help your community slash donate your clothes. I feel like this is the best way to end this video because instead of even having to buy stuff to do, you can actually help others by volunteering, making their fall better and donating your own clothes and making somebody else's day. Those are all 50 things to do this fall. I hope you guys like these ideas. I low-key got so inspired by looking up all these ideas and I feel like I'm definitely gonna do like all of these. This, this is this is my fall bucket list. I hope you guys have a great fall. Comment down below any like fall themed video ideas you guys would want me to do and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!